No, it was a, it was a complete introduction. I uh, I had never read the Green Arrow comic books. I I had never seen Smallville. I was completely unfamiliar with the character, but um, that has changed, obviously. A big responsibility when you're when you're entering into any genre where there there's a there's a built-in fan base. I mean, they you know. At once, they want you to succeed, but they're also very protective of their character, and they want to they want to see that mythology honored. Um, that so that was less my responsibility, and I instead put a lot of trust into the executive team behind the show. Um, you know, our one of our executives wrote for Green Arrow. We were doing this in concert with DC Comics, and uh, they were overseeing the entire project. And we had uh, uh, Dave Nutter, our pilot director, who directed the pilot of of um, of Smallville and was familiar with you know a, a genre television show and and being really uh, protective and loyal to whatever mythology we were going to create because it is important you know it is very important to um, you know to, to take the basis of the character but then to build your own universe uh, otherwise you're just doing an impersonation I, I don't, um, I mean, I, I've never seen any other iteration of Green Arrow. I read the comic books after uh, a, a couple of the series after after we shot the pilot, but I mean, I've never seen Smallville or, um, you know, I, again, it's it's more just, it's more just trusting the people that, uh, that are involved in the show and, um, and just playing the character the way that I want to play it, the way that our directors want me to play it, the way that our executive team wants me to play it, and... And that's just, you know, taking whatever situation is in front of me and, and going for it. And, um, you know, we've also, you know, the idea of playing out a five-year origin story, um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's helpful in, in helping me to figure out wh how the character got to where he is. And the other thing, too, about the first season is this is not the finished version of Oliver Queen. This is the first version of Oliver Queen, and um, hopefully, as we move into series two, um, you know, he is going to start refining himself a little bit more. Well, not having a not having a superpower presents real danger. You know, um, my favorite one of my favorite scenes in the first season, and one scene that I thought was really indicative of us following through on on what we promised in the pilot was in the ninth episode where the dark archer just kicks the crap out of me and i mean people can connect with someone getting knocked down and needing to figure out how to get back up so i would hope that that element uh, connects with connects with the fans Yeah, and it's and it's also it's also the exercise of, of playing so many different versions of, of of myself. You know, the 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 island version that's being broken down before he can be built back up again. The 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 version that he's presenting to his family with varying degrees of success uh, and believability, and and you know, the beta version of himself as the vigilante, not yet Green Arrow. <laughs>